Well, Sennheiser's latest 3 IM are in the market to prove that you do not require 12, 15 driver setup or a neutral tuning to make an IEM good. Before starting, Truth Here Zero Red giveaway is going on this video for me. Do check it out after this video. IE200, IE600 and IE900 from Sennheiser are one of the best single DD IEMs in the market. The whole lineup is there to satisfy your base hunger and Sennheiser has something for everyone. However, which one's right for you? Let's find out. IE600 and IE900 were graciously provided by the audio store for review purposes. And as you already know, opinions are mine. Be sure to explore their store. It has an incredible catalog of IEMs and audiophile equipment. I'll keep the link in description. It's not an affiliate link, so do check out. Let's start with Big Brother IE900. It has typical Sennheiser design language compact and durable build and it comes with some nice accessories like 2.5, 3.5 and 4.4 mm cable, case and cleaning tool etc. It is Sennheiser's flagship IAM offering premium audio at higher price for whopping $1500 MSRP. However, it is constantly discounted and sold at $1000 for which it is a killer and game stuff. I-900 has a controlled U-shaped signature for balanced listening experience with emphasis on bass. It is one of the best bass that I have heard and it is one of the best single DD in the market right now. In simple words, I-900 -E has exceptional dynamic driver to provide you bass quality and texture. With this good amount of bass, it maintains the overall tonality over the whole sound signature. While the mid-range lacks a bit in upper mid-ranges, the vocals are rich especially the male vocals, they sound fantastic on this IEM. However, with this amount of bass, there's a slight warmth in the mids, which definitely provide that richness in the vocals, especially for the male. However, at the same time, it lacks a bit of extension in the female vocals. The timber of female vocals get hit by a bit. However, the timber is still natural and it is one of the best timber in bass oriented set. I don't know how Sennheiser does it, it's just amazing. When I talk about treble, it has an excellent treble with some shiny shimmeriness into it and a little bit of air. However, I think it can use some more air in the treble. And at the same time, treble might be too spicy for the treble sensitive people. However, I found with some tip rolling, you get your sweet spot. The most amazing part about these IEM is their attack and decay. It's so precise, it just picks and loses the note exactly at the precise moment, which makes it a very good companion for busy tracks. In terms of technicalities as well, they will astound you. With that amount of bass, the first thing that gets hit is technicalities. However, not in the case of IE900. It comes with excellent separation, layering, holographic sound stage, detail retrieval. It's just pure magic. And especially rhythm and timing, it's just solid. Overall, IE900 is an excellent endgame IEM with exceptional bass, well done treble, and some warm mids. The only weakest point for IE900, I would say, is the mids. However, the astounding resolution that it comes with overcomes that. So Sennheiser didn't just stop at excellent IE900. They tried to improve upon and gave us IE600. IE600 is positioned as a mid-ranger between IE200 and IE900. And it carried on the DNA of IE900, giving us a slight V-shaped variation of the same. It's a tastefully done V-shaped sound signature with some excellent bass and treble. It is aimed at providing IE900 experience, but cheaper. How cheap you would say? $800. Well, not so cheap, right? However, it is always discounted at around $550. For that, it is an absolute deal. It has similar unboxing experience as that of IE900, except that 2.5 mm cable. It follows the same compact and durable design language as well. And when it comes to sound as well, IE600 provides you the same impactful bass. However, in terms of sub bass rumble, I would say IE900 does a slightly better job as compared to IE600. Overall bass texture and control of IE600 is just solid. And I would say IE600 portrays a strong bass performance just slightly behind IE900. 
However, I-600 improved upon I-900 in terms of mid-range tonality and it has one of the best timbers in the mids as well. I personally like the mids presentation of I-600 more than I-900. I-600 opens the overall mid-range slightly better and at the same time vocal sounds a lot better in I-600 as compared to I-900 with a bit more forward center stage as well. However, in terms of treble, it is a bit more spicy as compared to I-900. If you are treble sensitive, it might not be the right IM for you. However, with the amount of bass and treble, it is balanced and I didn't find any sibilance in the recordings. In terms of technical, I would say I-600 is a resolution beast for its price range. It has excellent detail retrieval, imaging, sound staging, and rhythm. However, I-900 again tops a chart by a bit as compared to I-600 in terms of resolution. Overall, I would say I-600 is a very strong dynamic driver IEM for the price range and it is absolutely worth it for the price that it comes with. However, Sennheiser didn't stop here as well and they provided us Sennheiser i200 because as i said in the video sennheiser has something for everyone well i200 launched with a bang replacing i300 from the i series im lineup and showing up the potential to be mini i600 as a package i would say it is nothing but a cost cutting menace with a cardboard box with a plastic build im pathetic cable and a grandfather pouch. Well, I'm using a cheap Ripovin Zombur cable on this one. It is a $9 cable, but nine times better than the stock one. And you do not need to cut the rubber around it. However, where this IEM impress you the most and you forget everything else is the sound. i200 inherits the DNA from IE600, providing you same slightly V-shaped sound signature with excellent vocals and bass performance. And this bass doesn't bleed into any other frequencies. It carries the IE600 DNA so well, and in my opinion, it improved upon it with better treble take on it. While the mid-range on these IM is absolutely bonkers, it can work a bit more on upper mid-ranges for a little better extension. Overall musicality and intimacy on these IEM is just outstanding. Anything you listen on these IEM sounds just good. And at the same time, the treble is smooth and airy as compared to the bigger brother IE600. And in terms of technical performance, IE200 has precise imaging and good sound stage. However, it falls short in terms of detail retrieval when you compare it with the competition in the same price range like Truth Here Nova or S12 Pro. Overall, I would say i200 is just good of a set that if you listen to it once, everything just sounds good on this and you end up loving it. To summarize, let's understand this with car analogies. If Sennheiser would have been a car company, I would say it would have been Audi, where Volkswagen Golf or Polo in India would be Sennheiser IE200. And it is there to give you the taste of what a Audi engine can do. And in this case, what a Sennheiser single dynamic driver can do. At the same time, i600 would be Audi A series, giving you best of the both worlds, luxury and sports. So if you want that sporty speed, you have enough base for that thumb. And at the same time, if you want relaxed experience, you have enough mids here to give you that smooth ride. However, you are that sports junkie who likes nothing less than your Audi R8 and that adrenaline feeling. Well, i900 is there to give you that bassy ride with that satisfying amount of thumbs and thuds. So which one should you buy? i200, you want i900 or you want i600? Well, Sennheiser made it very easy for you. The price difference in these is a lot. 150, 800, 1500. So I would say, first and foremost, if you like this sound, you must have a budget. Just follow your budget and you have an IEM with you. However, budget is not marked to you. I would say start with IE200. You'll understand the design language and sound signature of Sennheiser. If you like it, you can always upgrade to I-600 or I-900. I-600 is the best value for money I am for Sennheiser series. And at the same time, I-900 is the best base and technical performance that you can get in this series. Which one is my favorite? I would pick I-600 anytime for its balanced performance and at the same time giving you a taste of whole Sennheiser signature 
in one. Hope this buying guide will help you in making the right purchase and right decision. Do subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. So I forgot to tell one thing. Uh, all the reviews are there on the channel for i900, 600 and 200. Here, here and here. So do check out. thousand dollars